Today we're going to start our next topic, SAP MM and PP integration. So in the previous video, you have seen that how SAP MM is integrated with FI and there's a, there was a big topic, but all these topics that I'm going to start here, they are very small topic. And here we see that how the SAP MM is integrated with SAP PP, which is production planning module. So first of all, I have created some points here. So first of all, creation of purchase requisition for externally, externally procured materials during MRP run in, in PP. As during the MRP topic, I explained that MRP is a common topic between PP and MM. It's a bit different in, in from PP point of view. It's different from MM point of view. But when you run MRP from PP module perspective, system will be creating the purchase requisition for the external procured materials. Okay, that means from PP point of view, we need to create a production order. Okay, so production order, we're going to create a finished product and to make the finished product, like we're going to create a laptop. Okay, company is making the laptop. To make the laptop, we need different components like motherboard, keyboard, or screen, and things like that. So, system will be so any of the product, like say maybe the motherboard is externally procured. So, system will be generating a purchase requisition for the external procurement of the components of the production order. So, if I explain it here in a better way, so you have um, say production order for laptop so you need to manufacture 100 pieces of laptop so as you know laptop is made of different components so i can say it's made of uh, motherboard you can see screen i can see keyboard and some other components okay so maybe some of the components with the company is manufacturing in-house and some components can be externally procured. So if system will check if there is not enough um, stock available to make the 100 laptops, then system will be doing a creating a purchase requisition. So for example, there's only 50 pieces of stock here. However, we need 100 pieces. So system, this is externally procured. So system will be say creating a purchase requisition for this one. And later on, the purchase rec will be converted to purchase order. Okay, so from PP perspective, the purchase equation will be created for externally procured materials. Point number two is creation of purchase requisition for non-stock items during production order creation. Same as point one, but here we're talking about the materials that are non-stock materials. Okay, so for example, it can be a packing material, it can be some other materials that we maintaining as non-stock materials. So those materials will also be uh, procured uh, during the production order creation. Point number three, creation of purchase requisition for subcontracting for externally processed operation in production order. So let me explain this one. So in the production order, what happens is from PP perspective, you have different operations. Okay, so production order has, we're going to finish 10, 100 laptops, and these are the raw materials we'll be consuming. Okay, and the process flow will be going through different operations. Okay, so here I will say operation number one, okay, which is maybe on machine number XYZ. Okay, or this is called work center. Work center in PP language. Work center, say one. And then operation number two will be on work center. I'll copy that. Say five, for example. Okay. And then operation number three can be subcontracting. That means we do not perform this operation in-house within our company because we do not have the resources, we don't have the machinery, or for XYZ reason, we're sending it to a subcontracting vendor. Okay, we already discussed about subcontracting vendor in the previous topics. So we're going to send it outside just to perform operation number three. And then 
finally operation number four will be performed in house so, okay just an example okay on machine number 10 so if you look at here so this is this operation should be done by subcontracting okay so to do this one system will be creating a purchase requisition to perform this operation and purchase requisition will be converted to a purchase order later on okay so that is another integration between pp and mm okay so that's the point here is creation of purchase requisition for subcontracting for externally processed operation in production order then we have point number four is quota arrangement or pir usage for subcontracting items to choose the right vendor and price now obviously when we're going to create a purchase requisition or purchase order for this operation system need to find the right vendor and the price for that vendor to perform that operation okay so here system will be looking at where when the system will be creating a purchase order system will be reading your quota arrangement that we discussed earlier or pir record okay purchasing information record that we create okay so if i look at the purchase information record again me 11 where we created so here we'll be maintaining it as number two subcontracting okay we'll discuss already this one before so that is your point number four and then you have point number five is creation of reservations for components of production order during production order creation creation so we already discussed we already covered the topic called reservation before in sap mm training earlier and here we're discussing about the integration of reservation that means whenever if i go back here um okay let, let me choose a bomb component again so here if i as i discussed earlier so you need different components to create the laptop okay so i can say we need uh, uh, motherboard we need ram we need hard disk etc so whenever so when you create so for example uh, just say as of today we have i'll just pick one component so i'll say for hard disk we have 150 pieces of stock as of now as soon as you create the production order for 100 pieces of laptop obviously obviously you need 100 pieces of hard disk to con to make 100 pieces of laptop so system will be automatically creating a reservation of 100 pieces as soon as the production order is created for 100 pieces system will be doing a reservation of 100 pieces out of this stock so that it cannot be consumed by other orders or other requirements so that means out of this one 100 pieces will be reserved okay so that is the integration so is so reservation is a part of uh, sap mm so that's the integration between sap mm and pp point number six various goods movement for production order like goods issue of the components which is called back flushing that means that whenever a production order is uh, processed or completed system will be consuming the goods so if you look at the example here so as soon as we start the manufacturing of the 100 pieces of laptop here system will be consuming the this stock here okay so what this stock is this is a part of goods issue so, so we're doing a goods issue or in sap pp language it's known as back flushing so because of the back flushing system will be using uh, doing the goods issue automatically that means as soon as we confirm that the confirm the production order that means 100 pieces are done system will be automatically back flushing all these components accordingly to the the quantity that we manufactured for the finished product so all the components will be back flushed or will be goods issued automatically behind the screen in the background as soon as you confirm a production order so don't worry if you 
if you don't know about what is production order how to create it how to process it because that's a part of SAP PP okay but you just need to have understanding that how they are integrated that's all we need to learn here and the last point is goods movement for goods shipped of the production order for finished product so that means when once you uh, confirm the production order for 100 pieces of laptop that means you consume this one but on the other hand you system will be doing the goods shift of 100 pieces so whatever that material is it will be increased the stock will be increased by 100 pieces okay for this laptop so if you look at mb52 mb51 transaction to see the stock or the goods movement then you can see that 100 pieces has been added because of that production order as soon as you confirm the production order so confirming a production order will perform two activities one the goods issue of the components will happen second the goods received of the finished product will happen so this will be increased finished stock will be increased and this will be consumed okay so this is known as goods received that will happen automatically okay so that's all about the integration and thank you to watch this video i will catch you in the next video